Hey everyone, welcome back to the Atomic Spectre Lab walkthrough video. So at the top of your lab, you'll see three objectives, which are things you'll be able to do slash accomplish as you progress through this lab. Then you have the background information section. And this uh, section has a lot of great information that will help you on questions should you get stuck on them later. It goes into the Bohr model a little bit, talks about these orbits or energy levels. It talks about what happens if energy is absorbed or released by these electrons, talks about the ground state, the excited state, and how the atomic spectra, which is also known as the emission spectra, which is also known as the bright line spectra, how that is formed. So background info is full of a lot of useful information to help you out. Now, the rest of the lab is based on some different diagrams you will have access to. So each lab station, you will find three laminated color-coded sheets that will help you with these questions. So this first section, model one, will be based on the model one picture, which is this. So all of these informations, the colors, the energy, the wavelength, the speed, all the questions in model one will come for the most part from this chart. Never things you have to memorize. Then move on to model number two, which is right here. And you only have two questions in this section. And these two questions are based on, you might've guessed it, the model two image that you will see on your lab station. So these, these pictures are used for those two questions. When, you move on to model three. Again, model three, it tells you to use the model three sheet. You have these three questions, which are based on this picture right there. And so using that information, you'll be able to get through all of these questions. Now, the only question that may take a little bit more thinking is this question right here. But the hint that is given to you will help you out. Again, it's kind of more of a prediction, so don't stress out too much about this question, but just give it, you know, some thought. Then our last section, our model four, is used only on, well, you only need, rather, this picture. It is a popular regions question. So you are given this unknown sample of gas and four other known elements. Your job is to figure out which one of these elements or one, well, there are multiple elements in the mixtures, but which elements are in that mixture. Um, and you will be able to determine that by matching up every single line. And that is those last two questions. So once that is done, that is it for this lab. Again, use the provided sheets to help you. And that is pretty much it. Bye.